Hey guys, so I just wanted to make this video today to show you how to add IK controls to your Mixamo rigs. Uh, it's obviously very powerful alone to be able to rig a character in Mixamo, but uh, just being able to add IK controls on top of that brings it to another level and makes Mixamo super powerful. So uh, I'm not going to show you how to set up a character in Mixamo. There's plenty of great tutorials out there that have already beat me to it and will probably do a much better job than me so just i'll link some in the description but uh yeah let's just jump right into this so we've got our character uploaded to mixamo and we've got them in this t pose and we're going to download the character that it looks a little weird because i'm using subdivision surfaces in cinema it'll go back to uh to normal when we go into cinema so i'm just going to download this file download it to take a sec and uh let's jump over into cinema while that finishes downloading go to our downloads folder cool there we go so we're just gonna shift click and drag this into cinema and we don't need to change any of these settings click ok no we're not gonna reassign takes delete the camera and we are good to go so one thing to note uh the the ik rig will not work um if these joints are not named properly. So right now they are. Uh, it says Mixamo Rig colon hips. Uh, if you download a Mixamo Rig and there's an underscore in between Mixamo Rig and hips, for some reason this causes the IK Rig to not work. A good friend of mine taught me this trick. If you see an underscore here, I'm just going to show you really quickly how to change that. If your joints are already named properly, feel free to skip this part. I'm going to put a timestamp on the screen to show you where to skip to okay cool so we're going to right click on mixmo rig hips on the parent object we're gonna select children down here and uh we're going to press shift c on our keyboard i've already got it pulled up but you're just going to search for the naming tool double click that and we are going to down here you want to type in the character that you want replaced in this case in this case, this is named properly, so I'm just going to show you how to change it, and we'll revert back to how it is with the colon. So um, we want to replace the colon with an underscore, and then we'll just click replace name, and then boom, you'll see up here all the colons were turned into underscores. But we don't want that. <laughs> uh, that. That was just a demonstration. So we're going to replace those underscores now with the colon, replace name and and you're good so cool all caught up now we can get started so what we want to do is we're going to go to view unfold all we're going to go to filter here we're going to open up this objects and uh, we're going to control click on this eyeball next to polygon so we'll isolate only the polygons in our scene which is what we want cool let's drag and select all these weights here and then click reset bind pose and so yeah there we go you'll see so we just reset to the bind pose and now we can begin let's go up to this character tab up here click character and then let's come over to the objects panel select our character objects and then under this template we're going to click the drop down go to mixamo control rig click that there's already it's already integrated into cinema I, th I thought that was pretty cool so then we're going to click on roots to create this roots uh, control then we're going to click on pelvis we're going to control click on arm to create a right and left arm control there and if we just regular click on hand it'll know to fill in the right and left hand let's click on pelvis uh, so we can then control click on leg and create our leg controls so cool we we've got all our controls and uh we're down here in this object tab so we've got our character selected we're in the object tab and you'll see build adjust binding animate we're just going to go down this line so we've already finished build let's go to adjust and if you look at the viewport you'll see all those controls we just made just automatically adjusted to our geometry which is pretty cool um sweet so now let's actually skip over binding and let's go to animate cool we, we just saw our character moved away from the controls don't worry we're, we're gonna fix that here and so we want to click on weight transfer here and then we're going to lock this um element 
And so then we're going to come up to master here, uh, collapse that so we can see all of our polygons. Since this is still filtered, we're just going to shift click on all of our polygons, drag them into this weight transfer box, and then click transfer weights. And it's as simple as that. You now have IK rigs on your Mixamo rig where you have IK controls. So I'm going to um, alt click here on polygon to reveal everything else and only hide the polygon there. I'm just going to click on that eyeball. So now we can see everything again. And then cool. Let's just collapse these guys. I'm going to delete these uh, joints, these old mixing joints. We don't need them anymore. Let's go to our move tool and just show you. Yeah, we've got full IK controls. Boom. Our character is looking great. The one thing I want to note is again, cinema is very fussy on this process. Sometimes you can follow every single step just as I did it. And it still won't work for some reason. Um, what I would suggest is just starting over and trying a fresh file and just going from the beginning. One thing I've found is if you try to command Z or control Z and go backward, it, it, it just kind of breaks the process and you'll have to start over anyway. Very finicky. Sometimes if you accidentally click in your viewport uh, or in the object panel uh, in between steps, it can sometimes throw th things out of whack and your IK rig will break uh, that. So you'll just have to start fresh with the new file. Doesn't take super long, but uh, yeah, that's what I would do if you're running into any issues. If you still have problems or have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'll try to get back to everyone. And uh, yeah, leave a like, leave a comment, helps out the channel, really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and have a good day.